Well, it's Father's Day 2019 and we're getting roped into doing something. What are we doing, Jake? Being creative. Why? What are we doing? I'm going to make some cord out of some nettles and then some, or brambles and, brambles and then nettles. But I've done the hard bit, I've gone to quest. <laughs> <laughs> and you are going to have a go. I am going to have a go. You can put the camera down. I don't know where you get your boss in this phone, it's not me. <laughs> What am I doing then? Pulling a lever. Taking over the little French shop. First. Get you nice. Give me a sec. Most people get boxes of chocolates for Father's <laughs> Day. Yeah, and then you use the back of the knife and you're just going to just get all the green, the dark green from the outside off. Yeah, you want to get all the dark green off so it's just the middle showing. Can you use this cord for um, Pretty much anything you use string or rope for, it's quite strong. Um, so holding branches up to make shelters or um, tying anything together really. Is it that flexible? Yeah. Supple. Supple. Yeah. Once you... So you, it's actually you're using a strand inside. Mm -hmm. You're not using the... Is this one you've learnt on your bushcraft this last time? Yeah, I've seen it sort of vaguely in the past, but... Back to it this weekend for last week. What? Oh, we finished. Show it. One left handed. String. Yeah, you can use most things. Willow is quite good. You can use the bark of lime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lime bark's really good. So, what do the kids like doing in bushcraft best? Um, yeah. kids? kids always like fire. I was trying to avoid den building because everyone's done den building before. Yeah. But, yeah. It varies. We expect you to try this at home as well. We do this at home, we've got plenty of friends. Yeah. It's not like you need a sharp knife to do so. Kids can do it too. It's pretty good with me. It's probably pretty good with me because uh, if you use the back of the knife, it's even easier. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did say it at the start. I don't listen. He doesn't listen. He says he doesn't really want to do it. I never know where I am. Gloves off. Yeah, I find it easier when gloves off. And all you're doing is you're twisting it. Separate all the fibres up. You just work your way along. And all that doesn't get them all. I'm nice glad we, uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Get it all nice and uh, subtle. subtle. That the gloves are yellow. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then the next thing you want to do is just start stripping away. <coughs> Collecting and um, putting them over the pile so you get down to the pit in the middle. Doesn't matter about getting up to put it all the way down. On the individual strands, you want to get into a stage where you can roll them in between. And if you can't, if they're too flat and you can't roll them, you just need to split them down a little further. So, why am I doing something wrong? 
What do you mean? Yeah, stop doing it. Could probably dance it on a bit if you're looking at it. Yeah, you're right down to the corner. Right. Yeah, that's it. No. Yeah, you're right down to it. And now you just get each thread and get into a stage where they'll roll. So it's like that one's too flat, so it doesn't roll in your fingers. Just flip it down and out again. No, it is. Just keep sliding down until they all roll in your fingers. You get to the middle of it and you're just gonna hold it in your left hand and twist around with your right. So you get that sort of twist in the middle of it. And you're just gonna make a loop with it so that the right hand side's underneath the little loop there. Get to the middle and just hold it in your left hand and just twist it. Twist it till it's all tight in the middle. Like that. So you need to keep twisting that way. That way. Yeah. And, then that. and then make a loop so that you've got a little loop and on the right hand side it's underneath the left hand one. And all you're doing is twist it tight to the right and then go over to the left. Keep twisting it. Tightly twist it and strong it'll be. And these won't be very long bits, but if you imagine like as you get sort of towards it's thinner, you can just add more bits in. Mm -hmm. and just keep twisting them in. So I did about, on the whistle I made the other day, I made I probably put about 10 watts of bramble together, made a massive string and then could weave right up the whistle. Not using it. What concentration to do? So all you're doing is twisting it over to the right, twist the right hand strand, and then it put it over to the left. And then it'll start coming together. Do you want me to do you start it off? But you can let go of it in a hold as well. So if you Once you're a few in, uh -huh. it'll hold if you let go of it so you don't need to worry too much. Yeah. Thank you. You didn't expect to see this one come from Tails, did you? Well. Uh, Feel how strong it is just from pulling it. Yeah. Finish it off. Just put an overhand knot in it so like go over your finger and post it through. And how long would this last? This um last a while this nettle string if you season it first and just leave it inside for 24 hours. It'll last longer than otherwise nettle string, but this will stay pretty much as it is. And if you saw it from a distance and didn't come up close, you wouldn't notice anything different from like a hemp rope or hemp um, a string. It's pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. so like just leave. If you go to um, where's that place in the rope making? Uh, in Yorkshire. Dale. Um, Dale, yeah. Um, where the cheese factory is. 
We've got a, a, um, a rope bait is there. I mean, you can, like, if you picked it and then sort of you could prep it into all the strings and leave it for ages before you can still make stuff from it. Mm. Yeah, you can see I'm pulling pretty hard on that. Yeah. And it's nice and strong. So how do you finish it off? Just tying, you know, like an overhand knot, like... Um, so on both go, of them? No, just on one side, that lend or stay, so you go over your finger, and then you've got a loop, and then just post the end through. So, over a finger. This bit seems really dry now, and it's on the, not twisty, it's not doing On the whole... Yeah, so with all the strands, uh, right, yeah. you're just going to go over your finger. Yeah. Yeah, it's just where it's dried out there. But so you go just before the end of it, over your finger. Right. I'm not doing it too. <laughs> and you can tidy it up as much as you want to try and get rid of the odd ends and stuff. Mm -hmm. but, but from a distance, you wouldn't tell what that's like with a bramble 10 minutes ago. <laughs> It's not that much effort, really. It's quite, I find it quite relaxing. Mm. It, it does feel like rope, the old strings or the old yeah, jab rope. Yeah. Yeah, like the twine. Mm. Yeah. Twine, that's it. Now you get to try that one, which one everyone gets scared of. You've got a lot of ones than me. Thank you, Gracie. Nettles you can do without gloves on, but. I just prefer the comfort and even though the stings only last a few minutes. They don't with me. Rather not. So nettles are a little bit different. So when you get them you want to use your hand with the gloves on and run it down. But if I held the camera and looked at it at a different angle it would look better now. <laughs> and then you you just gotta so keep rubbing it. Against the um, I go the other way, yeah, so bring them all off. You've got to be comfortable with it there. Cool. It's even easier. But without wanting to make too many jokes, you just give it a good rub and then it'll uh, get all the hairs off is what you're going for because they're the bit that hurt you. Oh, the one that was thin. So it's a little bit different to the bramble for processing it. You'd usually dry it out for a bit, but it's, you don't need to, it just shrink a bit when you put it on. But you get your knife, I've got a knife for work as well. So you can see it's got ridges all the way around. Mm -hmm. Just on the first sort of thicker bit, just split the ridge open. Up that first ring. And then all you're going to do with your hand and your thumb is rig it out so it's flat. Um, you don't need to cut it all the way. If you get to a thick bit, you sugar with just put your knife in, just flick it up the way, it'll work with the butter knife as well. So you're just flicking it up through the bit. But you know, you just try to get this at the bottom of it. Got quite old. It's still in the knee. Right, it'll feel more work when you finish that. So you bring it out so it's sort of flat. You're not breaking it in half? No. Oh, right. right. Not like one. Makes, you'll be alright, you can still use it. But then, yeah, so you bring it out so it's flat like that. And then if you get to a tough bit like the rings, yeah. you're just going to put your knife through it. And then once you've got it flat, all you're going to do is snap and peel it back. And then just keep going down. You do this just if you're hard, but snap and peel it pull the pith out. So you just use your thumb. Right. See how I'm pressing down there. Yeah. It's just pushing it. And then you can just pop it and just it and flick through it.
so this is the stage where you dry it out, but you, you can still make stuff with it now, it just shrinks a little bit. Right. Yeah. And then, the same again with this, so you're just going to separate it. See, nettles in the hexagon, mm -hmm. and you've got five sides, and um, you're just going to peel away the sections here. And exactly the same as before, you want to get it. Peel, peel away the section for it? Yeah. That was a bit posh. Yeah. I've been down south once or twice. <laughs> so, these will go really thin. But you get it to the where it'll roll again in the fingers. Okay. Similar. Yeah, exactly the same now. You just get the strands together. And, um, start from the middle and then if you want to make your life easier you can like make a loop around something but unless you've got something like a twig to put it around you can't get it off very easily. You see this is where it's still wet isn't it? Yeah so this one will shrink but if you were to dry it off so I've got a collection now for um, when I work with groups so I'll do what I do is I'll get them to like do this bit and process it and I'll have some Brits already dried out and then they can um, take over. They can swap me some. Yeah. <laughs> Plan B in that I'll always have to do. Yeah. You can use this couple of strands and make it back thin off. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think that one went wrong. <laughs> Recreate That's my version, which isn't very good. So Pete's managed two bracelets. I've managed well, one bracelet. I had um, the one the original. Yeah. That's not bad. I've only got short ones, so. That was quite good. That's not bad. No. <laughs> so what would you do that with it being this work, what would you do? Just dry it out and leave it. Yeah. To Unless you had something immediately to use it for. Yeah. But yeah, if you dry it out, like you can just it'll be super strong. It's strong now, but yeah, I mean, you're just it'll just pulling it, it's shrink not. a little bit. Is that the cart on? I'm trying to snap in that. I can't. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin.